Hello, <laughs> welcome back. Again, I'm having trouble with my contact. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I wash my face so many times when I'm doing different reviews. And if you haven't watched my videos before, I have a full-time job. I have a lot that I do during the week. <laughs> I mean, don't we all? I'm not saying I'm special. So I batch film a lot on the weekend. And so I'm like putting sunscreen or makeup, whatever on my face, going to the bathroom, washing it off, doing the next video. And today it's like my contact is just like, no, like I don't, I don't want to be here. But I also can't see what I look like, like literally on camera um, without them. So I have to have them in. So there, that's a minute of the video. And now let's jump into what we're talking about today, which are the nude sticks. What are they called? Nude screen, daily mineral veil SPF 30. So these are two out of the three that they just came out with. And I, I picked up the first one, which was the, um, this one, the warm tint. And then I was like, oh wow, like I'm gonna need something else because that's a tint. <laughs> um, so I picked up the cool as well. And there's no way I'm getting the hot. That's just not for my skin tone, which is cool. I don't need that, whatever. But they have pretty much the same ingredients. The, the ingredient list does differ a little, mainly because of the iron oxides that give it like the tint. So otherwise, I'm just gonna review them as one because they really are the same formula. So let's jump in. Let's put it on my face and let's see, are they good? Okay, so the first, just like the main specs to get out of the way with, these are 1.6 fluid ounces, which is pretty standard for sunscreens. That's 50 milliliters and they retail for $35. They have an SPF of 30, which is a little low. I'm not gonna lie. I like to see it a little bit higher, but 30 is pretty much the lowest that I'll ever go. I won't pick up anything that's lower just because your girl likes sunscreen. <laughs> Like I mentioned, it does come in three shades. So you have the cool, which is the non-tinted, then the warm, and then the hot. So I think it's very important to kind of see what they look like on real skin. So of course I'm gonna put them on my skin, but the shades are interesting, I think. <laughs> and then Nude Stick says that it's lightweight and oil-free. And I'm not gonna argue with that. It is pretty lightweight for a mineral sunscreen. Um, it also, the oil-free part is really interesting because a lot of times with the mineral sunscreen, the reason they feel so heavy and chalky is because of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Those two ingredients, which are the active sunscreen factors, um, can be quite dry. Typically, it's formulated with more oils just to kind of make it, you know, a little less dry and chalky. <laughs> so it's interesting that this one says it's oil-free. It's also not scented, which is great for sensitive skin. I do feel like Typically, a lot of times mineral sunscreens do work really well for sensitive skin. And the fact that these are just kind of like a stripped down basic uh, formula is always good for sensitive skin. And then lastly, they say that it's multi-use. You can use it as your sunscreen. You can use it after your sunscreen. You can use it kind of to prime for makeup. I don't think that's really that revolutionary. They're just saying it, whereas maybe other brands don't explicitly say that. So use it how you think you'll like it or how your skin needs it. Um, for me, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily hydrating enough to use alone in the wintertime. This might be a good option though in the summertime because it isn't as heavy and rich as some of the other mineral sunscreens that I've tried. So it kind of depends. And for me, I always tell people like, you might love these, but they might not work for you in certain seasons or certain times with your skin. So just kind of like know your skin, know the climate that you live in. Like I know here in the summertime, I just have to switch up all my sunscreens. It's so hot and humid. I'm active. I can't be sweating off mineral sunscreens that are like dewy and radiant. <laughs> so that's my little PSA. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Oh, I forgot to almost mention <laughs> it's 15% zinc oxide, which is a pretty standard, pretty good amount of zinc oxide, which gives it the 30 SPF. And I'm looking at the ingredient list right now, and I don't really see a ton of oils. So they're correct. I mean, they have caprylic capric tri triglyceride. Why can I never say that? Which is basically like a form of coconut esters. Um, so it's not necessarily that it's oil free. It's just doesn't have something like marula oil or jojoba oil, something like that, which we kind of like associate with more of the oils. So pretty standard ingredient list. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Um, and now let's put it on my face because that's what you've been waiting for, right? <laughs> the packaging leaves a little to be desired. Now I know most people aren't going to be buying two. But when I bought them, I was like, I have no way to differentiate. The only way you can differentiate is the little 
label or little wording right there that says tint warm and tint cool. So I don't think it's gonna be an issue for most people, but they look exactly alike. Also, I zoomed you in really closely, but I wanted to really show you um, what they look like on the skin first, because the way that I'm gonna apply them is not gonna be half and half, because I have stuff to do today. But this is the cool, this is the non-tinted one. And this is really, you know, your typical mineral sunscreen. It doesn't look bad when I swatch it on my hand, but when I do apply it directly to my face with the right amount, it does have a cast. Like, it's a mineral sunscreen. And you can see it's still, it's taking me a while to rub in. If you have anything other than very light skin tone, you're gonna have a cast. That's just the way it is. But, I just stuck my tongue out. The warm, which is the middle one, oh boy. This is a shade, like what? What were they thinking? I really truly don't understand because I think what it is is people, this is a makeup brand and they came out with a sunscreen, which is great. I'm not like knocking them for that. I think everyone needs to wear sunscreen and however you can get it, that's great. But this is not meant to be used in the amount that people need to be using. Like you could use just the tiniest amount and then it would work. But for most people that are thinking like, oh, the middle warm shade could work for me. So that would be like light, medium, medium. I mean, it could work depending on what your tone is in medium. But a lot of people, like myself included, I typically do go for the medium shade. This is so much and I just put a little dab on. I'll put more to really highlight how dark it is. So we have a very chalky white one and then a very dark one. And to me, it's a little surprising just because I'm like, who, like where in the lab were they like, yes, this, this is it. <laughs> and then I can't even imagine how deep the deep one must be, which is great. Like, I think that is absolutely needed and people with deeper skin tones should be included. So this is great. I just, I'm kind of like confused because it, it's a big jump to go from this one to this one. So I'm gonna leave that on my hands just to be extra. And now I'm actually gonna apply it to my face, how I would typically apply it. And I've worn this quite a few times. Oh shoot, see, that's the problem. I wasn't, I didn't know which one I was um, pumping out. And that's a lot for this tinted one. But what I've been doing is I've been mixing them. I don't mind mixing when it's A, the same formula and B, the same brand, but also if it's a mineral and mineral sunscreen, you really, that's pretty safe to do. If you're mixing a chemical, oh God, why didn't I put my hair up? If you're, also my camera's about to die with my hands like this. Ah. If you're mixing a chemical and a mineral sunscreen, then it's a little bit more of a problem, but mixing these two together should not be an issue. That's why I do it. I mean, I really do have my shit together today, but apparently it feels like I don't. And I look like, um, like Lord Farquaad with my hair this way. Oh. So yeah, mix it. And that's not really my favorite thing because that means to be able to use this light one, the non-tinted one, you do have to buy the tinted one or have something else to mix it with. And to me personally, I do find it like a little bit better that I'm mixing the same formula, the same brand versus me taking the light one and then mixing it with maybe a different brand or a different formula. This to me feels like I'm just mixing colors at this point versus mixing formulas. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and apply it and try to keep my hair out. Okay, so 
it's a nice glowy look right now. Of course, the amount that I put on, it kind of always, unless it's like a matte sunscreen, it always looks glowy. But I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna go wash my hands because, well, I look and feel like a mess. And then we'll be back. Okay, so this is it. I have not touched up my face. I haven't put makeup on. This is what it looks like. And you can see like, it's definitely a little bit dewy. I could put some maybe powder on. You could follow it up, of course, with makeup. But it's not to the point where like, I'm like, everything I touch, my hair is getting in it. And it definitely sets down throughout the day. I would say it's kind of like the middle range for a mineral sunscreen, which is really nice once I like realize that. Because I do feel like mineral sunscreens can tend to be made either very matte on purpose or to be very, very dewy and glowy and moisturizing. So this is kind of like a middle range, at least for my skin type. Um, I can't say that for everyone. And by the way, my skin type, it really ranges. That's why I don't often say what it is because in the summer months, it's very oily and combo. And then it can get drier into the winter months. Um, but I would say it's more like normal to combo these days. It used to be very dry. So that's why it's really hard for me to kind of pin it down. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with the actual formula. I just don't like the tones. And it's okay though, because those two darker tones really work for people that have a darker skin tone, which is often kind of neglected in the world. And I think, you know, if it doesn't work for me and my skin tone, that's okay because I have plenty of options. But overall, this works really well combining them, but I'm not gonna tell you to go out and combine them because that's what, $70. Um, but I think it's a good job. They maybe could add a few tones. I think if they added maybe just one more tone, um, that would be better, but I can make it work. I'm not mad. I just, you know, I'm not gonna tell anyone to go out and buy two to make it work. So that's about it. I think you can kind of, oh, did I change my earrings? I sure did. <laughs> um, in the interim because I'm already planning like three hours ahead. But if you're wondering, that's why. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up for today and it, let me know if you have any questions on this. I think it's a pretty standard uh, mineral sunscreen. I think they did a very nice job. Would I tell you to repurchase or purchase in the first place? Maybe not. I think there are others that kind of do it as a one-stop shop versus having to mix two. Um, but if you're into it, it looks really nice. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.